Our guest today is Vice Admiral Eliezer Marom Chiney, former commander of the Israeli Navy. Hello, Eliezer. What is the main challenge that Israel is facing in offshore protection? I think that the biggest challenge uh, for the Israeli Navy uh, since the establishment of the oil and gas industry in the Israeli EZ is the size of the sea that Israel has to uh, monitor and uh, protect. The Israeli Navy was uh, in charge of protecting the Israeli coastline and of course uh, the size of sea that uh, the Israeli Navy had to monitor uh, at that stage was uh, much smaller than the size that uh, the Israeli Navy has to monitor uh, today because the EEZ goes further into the sea into about uh, close to 100 uh, nautical miles. Eliezer, what are the additional challenges that the Israeli Navy has to face since the establishment of the gas industry at the exclusive economic zone? Kinds of threats uh, would be uh, uh, terrorist uh, threats that uh, could come with underwater vehicles that are today uh, quite uh, developed, not only in the military area, but also in the civilian area. Many civilians are using uh, underwater vehicles. And this could include even uh, small submarines that could be used by uh, terrorists uh, to try and, 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 and hit uh, the, 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 the platform. And the second challenge, I think, would be uh, very, very accurate uh, rockets and missiles that could threaten the, the, the platform. Those could come from any hostile area, north or uh, south. And uh, we need to think all the time about protecting the platform against uh, those threats. I think that part of those that are uh, developed for the uh, defense forces will not be, uh, we will not be able to adopt them to the platform because uh, they're uh, dangerous and they could, they, they could harm the platform. Therefore, I think that the laser would be a good response for uh, intercepting uh, missiles and, and rockets. And uh, this is an area that we need to uh, develop and at the end of the day, adapt to the platforms. Can Israel establish connections with other countries since it's located in a problematic area? And if so, how can Israel do that? Israel is uh, located in a, in a very, very uh, threatened area that has lots of uh, disputes. And unfortunately, we face lots of threats uh, from all kinds, uh, onshore and at sea. And therefore, uh, Israel had to somehow establish uh, defense systems onshore and on board of uh, uh, naval uh, vessels. And therefore, the Israeli uh, industry is very much advanced in uh, providing, establishing, uh, developing, and providing uh, all kinds of uh, systems that could support someone who would like to protect uh, uh, oil or gas platform at sea. Thank you very much, Eliezer.